Hi all, I'm Vini Kumar uh, in the series of Omcot XM4. Today I'm going to explain you the difference between processor and processor core. Uh, many people think both the processor and processor core are same, uh, but the, the, there are many differences between the processor and processor core. Here we can call processor is also called as CPU and the processor core is also called as just core. Okay. Here in this video, I'm going to explain you the difference between processor and processor core by using ARM Cortex M4 block diagram. Here, let's open ARM Cortex M4 technical reference manual. It's a technical reference manual for ARM Cortex M4. Uh, it is openly available in uh, net. Okay, you can, you can download it. And see here, I'm going to open ARM Cortex M block diagram. Block diagram. Here, here it is. Let's see. Okay. It is a block diagram of ARM Cortex M4. Let's minimize. Yeah, that's great. Here, see the ARM Cortex M4. It's a block diagram. I'm going to copy this block diagram into my presentation for explaining better. Here it is. Okay. Here, the difference between processor and processor core is here. Observe this entire block diagram is for ARM Cortex M4 processor, which means it's a block diagram of processor. And uh, remember one thing. In a processor, there may be single or multiple cores. Here, observe ARM Cortex M4 or ARM Cortex M4 F processor core. This particular block is the core for ARM Cortex M4, which means this entire block diagram represents the ARM Cortex M4 processor and the small circle, what I rounded here, that represents the ARM Cortex M4 core. The core is nothing but uh, the actual processing area. You know, in the processor, every part don't process. Okay, these all are supporting parts. This NVIC is used to support uh, interrupts, and this flash patch breakpoint is supports for debugging purpose, and memory protection unit is support for uh, protecting the unprivileged memory. Okay, these are all supporting units, but the actual execution of instruction takes place in the core. Remember here, the actual instruction execution takes place in the core. Uh, which means if you have multiple cores in a processor that processor should be high speed okay if you have only single processor then uh, th that processor need to take care of all the things that processor need to take care of take care execution of every instruction the, that may leads to slow of execution but if you have multiple core processor then the speed also should increases because uh, every processor takes care of execution of instructions which leads to execution of instruction very fast so here the main difference is a processor contains a core okay a processor contains a core a core is a main functional unit of a processor a processor contains core with some other peripherals like nested vector interrupt controller uh, flash path breakpoint and memory bus I mean, not memory bus here, bus matrix, uh, instrumentation press, macro cell. If you are using some other microcontroller or microprocessor, this core, I mean, this block diagram may differ. It's a block diagram for ARM Cortex M4. Okay. Here, see, I'm going to explain it better by using this diagram. Here, observe this green color chip. This is a chip. It is nothing but a CPU, or you can call it as a processor. Okay. This green color chip is a processor. Here observe, within this green color, we have uh, four uh, yellow color cores. These are four yellow color cores, core 0, core 1, core 2, core 3. Okay. And, you know, in each core, we have three units mainly. In each core, for executing an instruction, we have three units. First one is ALU. It's very important. ALU stands for arithmetic and logical unit. It is used to perform all the arithmetic and logical operations. And second one is control unit. It is used to control all the instruction executions and instruction decoding, uh, that kind of things. And uh, last one is catch memory. This catch memory is also known as some set of registers or general purpose registers uh, for storing temporary data while executing instructions. Okay, which means a core mainly contains the three units so that is control unit, ALU, and uh, registers. But a processor contains core as well as uh, some other peripherals to the core. Uh, it is the main difference between the processor and core. I hope you understand the differences between the processor and core. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to print a print of, I mean, how to print a hello world in ARM Cortex M4. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt, uh, let me know in the comment box. Uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.